Welcome to Godly Play Worship. We're going to take some time now to be with God. Let's give each other a greeting. The Lord be with you and also with you. We're going to read from the book of Mark, chapter 4, starting with verse 35. Listen to the word of God. Later that day, when evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's cross over to the other side of the lake. They left the crowd and took him in the boat just as he was. Other boats followed along. Gale force winds arose and waves crashed against the boat so that the boat was swamped. But Jesus was in the rear of the boat sleeping on a pillow. They woke him up and said, Teacher, don't you care that we're drowning? Jesus got up and gave orders to the wind, and he said to the lake, Silence, be still. The wind settled down, and there was a great calm. Jesus asked them, Why are you frightened? Don't you have faith yet? Overcome with awe, they said to each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the sea obey him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus and his disciples were coming back across the lake. Last night, there had been a great storm. And Jesus, when Jesus and his disciples were on the lake, and the disciples were terrified. Jesus was asleep in the back of the boat and they called out to him, Lord, save us. And Jesus had told the storm, peace be still. And the storm stopped. Jesus asked the disciples, why were you afraid? Do you still have no faith? And the disciples wondered, who is this that the wind and the waves obey him? But now it was morning and Jesus and his disciples came to shore. A large crowd of people gathered around Jesus. Jairus, who was a ruler in the church and a very important man, came up to Jesus. Jairus knelt at Jesus' feet and begged Jesus, please come to my house. My little girl is very sick. I think she's dying. Please come and put your hands on her and make her better. He had faith that Jesus could heal his daughter. Jesus went with Jairus. As they were walking, a woman who had been sick for a long, long time came up behind Jesus and touched his clothes. She was thinking, if I could just touch his clothes, I will be healed. She had faith in Jesus. At once, the woman was better. She was healed. She slipped back into the crowd. Jesus turned around and looked into the crowd. Who touched my clothes? The woman came forward 
she knelt before Jesus and told him the whole truth. And Jesus said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. And now some people came from Jairus' house. And they told Jairus, your daughter has died. You don't need to bother Jesus any longer. But Jesus said to Jairus, don't be afraid. Just keep trusting, have faith. Jesus brought with him James and John and Peter. When they got to Jairus' house, the people there were crying loudly. Jesus asked them, why are you crying? The girl is not dead. She is only sleeping. The people laughed at Jesus. They thought this problem was too big for him. Jesus and his friends, Peter, James, and John, And Jairus, the girl's father, and the girl's mother came into the room with Jesus. And Jesus took the little girl's hand and he said, get up, little girl. Immediately, the little girl stood up and began walking around. Her parents were very surprised and filled with joy. Jesus told them to give her something to eat. And now I wonder what you think is important about this story. I wonder what the disciples think now that they have seen Jesus calm the storm and heal the sick woman and make Jairus' daughter alive. I wonder if the disciples have learned yet to have faith in Jesus. I wonder why the sick woman had so much faith that Jesus could heal her, even though the doctors couldn't. She had faith that all she had to do was touch Jesus' clothes and that he would make her better. I wonder how Jairus felt when he got the news that his daughter had died. I wonder if he was losing his faith in Jesus. I wonder how Jairus felt when Jesus told him not to be afraid, but to keep trusting. I wonder about the crowd of people who laughed at Jesus I wonder what they think now, now that Jairus' daughter is alive and walking around. We're going to light the Christ candle. And we remember that Jesus came to be a light for the whole world. And we remember to have faith in Jesus.
And we're going to read now from the Jesus Storybook Bible. And this comes from Mark or Luke, Luke chapter 8. There was once a little girl who didn't get out of bed one morning. She was very sick and no one knew how to make her better. Jairus was her daddy and he loved her. I know what to do, he said. He jumped to his feet, put on his coat, and ran to find Jesus. He fought his way through the crowd of people. Jesus, he said, falling at Jesus' feet. My daughter, please. But even before he finished speaking, Jesus reached out his hand and helped him up. I'll come at once, Jesus said. Suddenly, Jesus stopped. His friends looked back. What was Jesus doing? Who touched me, Jesus asked, because he felt power go out of him. I did, said a lady. The poor lady had been sick for 12 years, and she knew that if she could only touch Jesus' coat, she would be healed. So she touched his coat, and instantly she was well. Jesus looked into her eyes and smiled. You believed, he said. You had faith, and now you are well. Just then, Jairus' servants rushed up to Jesus, to Jairus. It's too late, they said. Your daughter is dead. Jesus turned to Jairus. It's not too late, Jesus said. Trust me. Have faith. At Jairus' house, everyone was crying loudly, but Jesus said, I am going to wake her up. Everyone laughed at him because they knew she was dead. Honey, Jesus said, it's time to get up. The little girl woke up rubbed her eyes as if she had just had a good night's sleep, and she leapt out of bed. Jesus called to her family, Bring this little girl some breakfast. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now let's pray together. Help us, God to have faith in your promises, to keep looking for what you will do in our lives, and help us to keep listening to your word. Amen. And now we're going to change the light. The light that was in one place can be with us in all times and all places. Go now in peace to love and serve the Lord.